Hello, I'm Steve Bush, I'm the Executive Director for Phoenix Energy Corporation. And today we're taking on a special project for this 1966 Pontiac GTO. We're going to be converting this vehicle with our cylinder set up to run on compressed natural gas. As you can see, inside the trunk, we're going to have a look. We have just a stock trunk space of a 1966 Pontiac GTO. Today we will be modifying the trunk space to incorporate two Luxfer CNG cylinders with the appropriate bracketry and hardware. So let's get started. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to our service technician of the day, which is going to be Matt Hyde. Matt Hyde is going to be our CNG specialist, our hands-on specialist for this project. So we're going to get some measurements to start off with here inside our trunk area. We're going to measure for adequate spacing for our tank trunk plate to make sure that we're going to be able to clear the inner fender wells and the distance of the trunk latch itself. We don't want to interfere with the trunk hinges or the trunk locking mechanism whatsoever. So with those measurements taken, we're going to start our development of our CNG tank plate for the trunk area. After Matt has taken our proper measurements, we have sheared and holed a plate to the dimensions that we desire for the trunk of the GTO. Now we're going to match these holes that we have placed in this flat plate of steel and duplicate those holes in the trunk of the GTO. So now let's go back to our GTO. Prior to receiving the GTO, the gasoline tank has been removed to guarantee this is a dedicated natural gas vehicle that has no opportunity to operate on gasoline this far. Matthew will now continue to uh, drill the four placement holes in the bed of the trunk area. Now, while drilling these holes, you always want to make sure that there's no obstacles or obstructions on the opposite side. We have determined that we have a clear path of drilling through the trunk to ensure that we do not damage any fuel lines, brake lines, or so forth. Now with all four holes drilled, we will go back to our trunk plate to start attaching the tank brackets. As you can see, this is one of our CNG cylinders and the brackets that will be attached to the cylinder and to the trunk plate itself. Pick up two of the brackets. These two brackets will be joined to the trunk plate itself and then we'll hold securely the cylinder inside the trunk area. Now let's, we'll go over to our trunk plate and we'll start our welding process to weld the half bracket to the bed plate itself. Now we're going to determine the placement of the tank bracket on the trunk plate itself. Since this car will be receiving two cylinders, it will require a two full sets of brackets. One tank will set forward and one tank will set in rear. So let's bring out the welder. Okay, now that we've uh, welded our tank brackets to the trunk plate itself, we have two ideal spots for the two looks for cylinders. Now we're going to test fit the plate in the trunk of the car to make sure our hole alignments are correct and that we're not impeding on any other part of the structural uh, integrity of the trunk. Okay. With placement of the tank plate inside the trunk, we are clearing all of our obstacles and everything looks good. Now we will remove the tank plate now and get ready to, to drill our bulkhead that will take our natural gas fueling and filling lines and vent tube out of the trunk area. 
Okay, now that we're just about ready for our tank bracket plate to be installed, we've had to drill a hole in the right side of the front part of the trunk. This hole will be for a bulkhead fitting that will carry our tubes, that will be our high pressure filling and delivery tube, and our pressure relief device vents out of the car underneath it. Our code, which is NFPA 52, requires that anything inside the passenger compartment or in a confined space be bagged and vented. This bulkhead fitting that we will install into this freshly cut hole will pull all of our fittings and tubing out of the car to not create a confined space and where natural gas can be trapped. Now we're modifying our bulkhead to fit nicely inside the trunk area of the car, take up the least amount of space, and to accommodate our good seal for our bag and clamp attachments. We now have our bulkhead in place. As you can see, it has nice clean edges, so it won't be abrasive to the tubing, and has a nice sealing surface for the bagging. Now let's move on to our installation of the, the tanks themselves.